aphids are no more guys uh, so update on the ladybugs uh, using them to, and them only to treat for aphids uh, while the ladybugs only hung out for most of them a day some of them two to two and a half three days maybe and then there were some maybe just very few that kind of hung out after that for longer and it's been about oh about four days since I've seen a single ladybug I haven't seen any at all um, on these plants I have not seen any wasps hovering about but on some of my other ones I have so I think uh, which is good because when you see the wasps kind of patrolling on a regular basis I'll tell you what I've never seen aphids when I've seen wasps uh, on a regular basis so all right, and you guys remember my my lemon ghostly jalapenos these are beautiful plants they're flowering you see, you see they're starting to flower but uh they're they're there's not a single sign of an aphid anywhere so all i did let's go back to this uh how to get rid of aphids treating for aphids you can watch my other videos i suggest you do that but i'll just tell you in this one if you're somebody that i don't know just kind of scouring the internet and uh you know, feel like watching my other ones so basically um what i did was i, I started noticing them early because i was paying attention and i would you know, come out i remember i mean one of these plants i don't remember which one it was i had it got it got like eight or nine off but what i did was i lifted up the leaf and i said oh no and there was a couple of aphids there and i kind of like grabbed them with my finger get my finger wet and I squished them against the brick wall all in all, it's just another aphid in the wall. But anyways, uh, then I came out and I sprayed down as many leaves as I could, because this is quite a bit, um, just with a spray bottle with just water in it. Kind of knocked whatever aphids there are off of there. And all they're going to do is fall back onto the soil, and they might most likely crawl back up on the plant. But I think it might have disturbed what they were doing or if they were laying some eggs or some who knows but i just kind of sprayed the plants down with water and then the next day um i got ladybugs that i ordered from nature's good guys they were only like 10 bucks or 750 but you have to pay shipping on them and uh i got some flowering my my new max lemon spice jalapeno plants are got some nice flowers dog yeah there's some, there's some flowers going on here see? so uh, with that being said, um, then you spray down the plants again when you release the ladybugs because they are thirsty when you get them and you're about to release them. So you spray water and they'll go right for the water and they'll drink and they'll hang out for a little bit. Do it at nighttime if you're going to release ladybugs because they'll be, you know, right before dark, they'll be focused on that water. Um, and then once they're done drinking that water, they are going to go start looking for something to eat. And they're going to find themselves a nice little snack. And then, you know, they're, 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 they're not going to go flying off in the dark. Uh, they'll wait until the next day. And so the, the next day I was careful. You know, I tried to water them. But if you look, you see some of my plants, there's a little bottle cap like that. I actually did put bottle caps in some um, some of the pots filled with water. Because I knew the leaves, you know, that water would dry out and evaporate within an hour or two. So... Tried to keep a little water near where they were going to be. And yeah, uh, that's just the, the end result. Um, ladybugs do work. And I am glad, man, because I don't want to use any chemicals on my plants. Uh, but these plants just got a, too much. Not too much. They, they just got hit with a lot of rain. So if you see some of the, you see some of the leaves are kind of getting crinkly. Crinkly. Like, they didn't look like that last week. But it's because just a lot of water all at once. Then what'll happen is the heat will hit them and they'll dry out. And But, yeah, we did. We got, like, five days straight of rain, which is awesome. They love rainwater. Um, and then I didn't have to waste my time watering them. And uh, also, uh, you know, you just the, the, the overcast it just helps them grow so much. And so yesterday was the first day without any rain or any overcast. They just got straight sun, and they they blew up. 
Now these are all top plants. You guys know I have them in front of my condo, so I can't have them growing all huge. But uh, but yeah, they're they're all doing pretty good. And uh, let me show you the other plants. Alrighty, guys. So uh, some of the other plants. So anyways, like I was saying, no aphids. I just inspected everything over here. But what we are still see see it is a problem with slugs. Now these plants here are the ones that I put the pepper powder and coffee grounds around and they I can't really tell they don't I mean they haven't got more destroyed noticeably so I think that worked to kind of get the slugs away from there but it appears they've moved on to other plants and now they're up here on the deck so the slugs are coming up here and decimating look at that leaf guys Just look at the how much they chewed up that leaf so yeah i gotta deal with these slugs that plant's not bad but some of them they favor for some reason i don't know why these are all the same plant look at this i got something growing up over here huh random little ivy plant just chilling so that's it no aphids i mean you look through the bottom of every one of these plants i just gave these some water and i missed them and there was some uh, some hornets up here and so I kind of didn't want to scare the hornets away, but these things needed water. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. This is the last wasp or hornet I seen was over on this plant. I sprayed it quick and then let him go. This is a two-year-old, so it's 2021, 22. This is the third year. Um, seven pot chocolate primo. Where's that stock? Look at that stock. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I love you, Uncle Bull Cow. I'm out.